Hey guys, sorry about the lighting. I know it's it's dark, but it is that time of year. It is 6.45 in the morning. Um, I am on my way to work. It is October 12th, I believe. Yes, October 12th. So, yesterday was Norm's surgery. So I took the day off of work, obviously. Um, his surgery went fine. They, um, thank you for all of your well wishes and your prayers and your um, good thoughts and, and positive vibes and all those wonderful things. Um, it went great. He, um, like I said, he had ripped his sternum. When they got in there and looked around, um, all the wires were busted, all of them. Not just um, the one that we knew originally that when he had the sneezing attack, we all kind of heard pop. Um, this one, or this, this was all of them. All of them were um, busted or broken, or it was, it was just, it was just a mess. Um, so while I was sitting there, I had a, some time to kind of read up on, um, on the internet, unfortunately, what um, the, the procedure he was having. <laughs> and um, it happens, it happens a lot, actually. Um, I, I read one woman who was saying when she had had her open heart surgery and they had to rewire her sternum, she had um, sprained her ankle or, or no, broken her ankle like the next week and she had to be on crutches and that popped it open. So you have to be so careful with the chest. So when he went in, they put the line in his neck, which he absolutely hates when he had that done last time. Um, Cause you know, they have to stitch it back in there, you know? Um, when he had the um, open heart last time, it was the worst part for him. He absolutely just hated that. So they had to do that again, and they do that again because when they do, anytime they work on your heart, they open up the heart, the sac that's around the heart, and they don't stitch that back together. It kind of just eventually heals itself, um, and and not always well. So because they, um, you know, are are kind of working so closely to the heart, they keep that line in, and it's just in case, and it's down in your heart, and blah, um, it's gross, but. Um, he had some drains in yesterday from the, from around the heart um, just to get all of that gushy stuff out. Um, and that was still draining last night when I left. Um, sorry if you guys are eating breakfast. Um, but anyway, they um, it, it, it all went well. They kept him overnight. Um, he is going to get out today. Um, he'll probably get out today around 11, 12 o'clock. Um, so he wanted to leave last night and you know, we all know Norm, he, he's done that before where he called me and said, come get me, um, because he was just miserable. Last night he was, he was a trooper. He did real well. Um, he's been up and walked today. They took the, the line out last night, um, which he was real happy with. Um, they put him on some painkillers. Um, he does not, uh, sleep on painkillers like most people do. He gets loopy and he talks a lot, a lot. Um, and last night it was kind of funny. He was singing, um, baby shark, <laughs> you know, the baby shark, do, 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 do. Um, so that was kind of funny. I took a video and, um, showed all of his friends, but, um, so he's doing real well. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for, um, for all of your prayers and well wishes and, and thinking of us yesterday. We got so many, um, texts and Facebook messages and, um, I got some emails just from people who, um, you know, just letting us know how much, uh, they were thinking about us yesterday. And, and I just thought that was really sweet. Um, much easier than the last surgery. Um, even though it was supposed to be an, about an hour surgery, he was back there for three hours because they couldn't get him to fall asleep. Um, because his needle, his line had blown. So it took him almost an hour just to get him to fall asleep. Um, so we really did take, but it still took two hours. And his surgeon said that, um, he did some extra figure eights <laughs> um, and whatnot. So um, before he scheduled his surgery, he, um, my job had asked me to be admin yesterday and today. Well, obviously I can't be admin yesterday because um, it was, I had to be there for a surgery clearly. Um, and then we didn't think he was going to get out of the hospital until Saturday. Um, but he, they're gonna release him today. The problem is I have no one to cover me today for admin. Um, the other person who can be admin is out today. Um, 
I had already said I would do it. And um, on top of the fact that we've got something, I want to say something like five teachers who have called out today, and we're only a staff of 15. So um, I'm not feeling great today. I feel maybe dehydrated. I know, I don't think, guys, and this is terrible, I don't think I drank one, I'm trying to think, I don't think I drank one glass of water yesterday, not one ounce of water yesterday, maybe a sip. I think I might have taken a sip of water when I got home um, because I took some Advil because my shoulder is hurting from um, my job. Sometimes you have to transport children um, against her will. And um, I pulled my shoulder a little bit. So I uh, had to take some Advil when I got home. And I think that's the only um, water I drank, yes drank yesterday. So in the middle of the night, I kept waking up and my lips were really dry and my throat was dry. So I would take sips of water because I don't like to drink a lot of water while I'm sleeping because then I have to get up and go to the bathroom. Um, I slept pretty well last night, but then when I woke up this morning and I looked at the clock and this was around 2.30, 3 o'clock and I looked at the clock, I couldn't focus on the clock. My eyes would not focus and I felt like the room was spinning um, and I thought, okay, you're just overly tired. It almost felt like, you know, when you go to sleep and you've been drinking, um, and I, I was, I was like, okay, you're overly tired. Go back to sleep. <laughs> You'll be fine in the morning. Well, when I woke up this morning and the alarm went off again, I still couldn't focus on the clock and it felt like the room was spinning. So it was really weird because as I'm laying there trying to like deep breathe and, and I thought, okay, this is stress. This is, you know, whatever. Um, I get a text from Amber, my oldest, and she says, I don't feel good. My stomach hurts and I feel like the room is spinning. And I'm like, oh God. Um, so I had already determined at that point that I thought I was dehydrated. I had already thought about the fact that I think I'm dehydrated. Um, so I said to her, I think I'm dehydrated, but I feel the exact same way. So she got up and drank a bunch of water. And as soon as she did, she felt much better. Um, I have drank about a half a cup of water or a half of a tumbler of water. So about maybe 10 ounces. Um, and I feel better but I can still feel like something doesn't feel right. So I'm really gonna guzzle some water today and try to get that, that fluid level back up. I'm not, the room isn't obviously spinning anymore. I wouldn't be driving. Um, so yesterday, let's just talk about, let's, let's be honest, lay out points here. So as you guys know, I my well maybe you don't know, my points start over on Saturday. I like them starting smack dab in the middle of the weekend for me because I have to have enough on Friday to have a little bit of a good time or earn new ones on Saturday to have a good time. And then Sunday I start re-earning for next Friday. That's kind of the way I look at it. However, I usually count my weigh-in on Friday before I have my weekend fun. Um, my weight today was exactly the same. So I am literally one, I think it's 174. I've even forgot now. And I have been for weeks and it's like, I forget, I don't even remember what the actual number, but it's like 174.2, whatever that is. It has been the exact same for, I kid you not, probably five weeks. I have not been able to shake these 170s again. Um, and I'm about 10 pounds heavier than I was at my, my smallest on Weight Watchers. And I am having a darn hard time shaking this. Now, yesterday, it's really windy out here. We're, we're feeling the, um, the remnants of Michael, I guess. We had some thunder and lightning out last night, um, and some yuckiness, but we didn't get, we didn't get hit with it or anything. Um, I don't think it's supposed to come today. I really hope not, but, um, but it's windy and I was just crossing a bridge and I could kind of feel my car, um, wiggling back and forth. But, Anyway, so yesterday, let's talk stress, okay? Let's talk emotional eating. Um, first of all, and I said this last time Norm was in the hospital, can we just talk for a minute how hospital cafeterias have the worst food for recovery or for people who are in the hospital visiting? Like, don't get me wrong, I understand. It needs to be quick, it needs to be something you can make, you know, easily because you're, it's like a restaurant and you're serving lots of people. 
But I swear to you, like every single thing on their menu was deep fried. So you walk in and this is, you know, I'm not unfamiliar with this hospital. For one, Norm was in there last time with his heart surgery. Um, I had my heart surgery there. Um, But also, Norm's, the nature of Norm's job is Norm sells hospital communications. So this is one of his signature accounts. Um, They're partners with this hospital. So I've been there with him just helping him work. (laughs) And when he got back into working and still couldn't drive, I was driving him here. I know nurses and doctors and VPs and corporate people at this hospital. So I'm familiar with the hospital. I've been there a few times. Every time I've ever been there, their cold side sandwiches always closed. Never have seen it open. Um, and the only thing open is their grill, which is, you know, one of those griddle grills and, um, the fryer. And that's, and there's one lone little woman there. Um, and I gotta tell you, their hospital is mean. Like the whole rest of the staff, they're, they're, they treat Norm and they treated Norm and I when we were there and they do it with everyone like royalty. I mean, they just go above and beyond to be as nice as they can. And the, the staff is amazing. Their work is amazing. They care a lot, but my God, I know that it's not hospital employees, but their cafeteria staff is downright mean. They're just mean. If you don't do things correctly, they yell at you. Like, you know, I'm checking out and, um, I had some, I had a little fruit bar or something on my plate. It says, you got to hand me that. Right. I didn't know. How do I know that? You know? And, um, she had to like scan it or something. So anyway, they're, they're just mean. And like when you're behind the, the lady who's running the fryer, she asks you questions, but she asks them so low. And if you don't hear her, she'll yell at you. I mean, it's, it's, so I don't like going in here. However, um, all the other times I've been there, Norm's, um, very, very good friend who works in, um, clinical engineering, um, has always come up and like walked me to, to lunch or walked me to dinner or he's brought dinner in or one of the other, um, staff has done that just because we know so many of them last night. It was just, or yesterday was just kind of one of those weird moments where none of them were there for the day. Um, so Norm didn't want me walking. Cause you know, this is kind of the, the heart of Baltimore city. Um, and he just didn't really want me walking around there down there by myself. And, um, there's a couple of restaurants local, but it's just, you know, it just wasn't, um, he didn't want me walking around. So, and I was tired and, and I really didn't want to go out of the hospital and then have to come back in. Um, so I went to the cafeteria and they just have just the crappiest food. So there was a salad bar. I made myself a salad. It was, eh. Um, there was just not a lot of selection on the salad bar. It was fresh. Um, and then they had soup, which is what was my thought. And they had a chili that had like a film on the top that looked like it had been in there for, I can't tell you how long. And then there was like a, some type of vegetable soup that just smelled terrible. Um, even other people were like opening it up and looking at it. I'm like, no. So I got Norm. Um, they told Norm he could eat whatever he wants. We're not fighting the diet right now. Um, still. And again, not my journey, but, um, he wanted a cheese. Well, he wanted something. And, and the only thing on the menu that was worth it was a cheesesteak for him. Um, so he really wanted a ham and cheese sandwich and I just, they didn't have it because this cold side was, was closed down. So I got him, um, a cheesesteak and fries and I figured we'd split his fries cause we always do. And I got a salad. So I had salad and fries. Um, and I got like a fruit bar. Well, I didn't realize this fruit bar I got, that's really called, that's it. Cause it's like, that's it. That's all that's in it. Um, and when you read it, it has really clean, I can't even remember now cause I'm so tired. It has really clean, um, ingredients. Like it was just the fruit. Um, but it came out to like seven points, um, which I tracked. And then, um, they brought Norm his dinner, which I got to tell you the worst possible thing you could feed Norm ever, 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 ever is Salisbury steak. He absolutely hates Salisbury steak. Um, I actually like it. 
I, and in the hospital, it's more like a cheeseburger or a hamburger patty with um, gravy over top of it. And you know, you would think they wouldn't they wouldn't feed this to these patients, right? And then mashed potatoes covered in gravy and um, the green be and green beans and the green beans um, also kind of had a lot of gravy underneath of them. Um, and then that came with a like strawberry shortcake type dessert for like that much. So um, Norm was not hungry for that because he's certainly not going to eat Salisbury steak. So I ended up eating that. Um, so that's Salisbury steak, gravy, mashed potatoes, you know, and this cake. And I got to tell you, to be real honest with you guys, I did one of those things where, and I know you've all done it, I know you guys have been there, where I literally for halfway through my meal had forgotten that I was on Weight Watchers. Like just was eating, randomly eating, right? So I tracked it all. Um, as best I could. Um, it's really hard to track a piece of strawberry cake, shortcake that is, um, cause a lot of times in hospitals it's like a sugar free cake or it's whatever, but I don't know. I have no idea. And it was no bigger than a cake pop. I mean, it was tiny. It was maybe the size of a tablespoon of cake. So I, I counted it as a cake pop. Um, cause it was the closest thing I could come up with. Um, and I counted the gravy, don't know what kind of gravy it was. I counted the Salisbury steak with mashed potatoes. I, you know, I just counted it all. Um, and then Norm was still hungry, of course, because he hadn't eaten dinner. So I went down and got him, um, it was Thursday night football, so he wanted kind of like munchy food. I got him some chips and a candy bar, and um, he wanted like something you'd order from, you know, a, a deli kind of thing, but um, they didn't have it. So I, I asked for wings and fries. And there, the ladies says, we're out of wings. I said, okay, well, can I have chicken tenders and fries? We're out of chicken tenders. So I got him fried shrimp and french fries. And I ended up, I had like two of his fried shrimp and like a couple of french fries. Um, <clears throat> the water, they kept bringing him water to drink. And it, it was terrible. He didn't want, it just didn't taste good. <clears throat> so he's not a big fan of tap water. And I'm not either. So, um he kept asking for ginger ale. Um, he had had the tube down his throat for hours. So, um, he wanted the ginger ale was making his throat feel better. And the problem is they kept bringing it and then they bring me one too. Um, so I probably had, um, cause they bring these little tiny cans. Um, and I think I had two of them, which would have put me at like 16 ounces of ginger ale, which is a lot of friggin' points by the way. Um, counted that, counted the two shrimp, counted the mashed potatoes, counted it all or the french fries. Um, so by the time I left the hospital, I was already, I, I wanna tell you, I think I was at 32 points, maybe 28 points, I don't know. But I was already over for the day, way into my weeklies. And I had started the day with like 23 weeklies. Um, got home, decompressed, and sitting on the counter were four hostess mini powdered donuts that Norm had had the day before. Um, I, without even thinking, one of them went in my mouth. Um, and it wasn't even good, I gotta tell you. It was, it was mildly stale. Like they were, like tomorrow they'd be bad, you'd have to throw them away, because they'd be hard. Um, they weren't even that sweet for being powdered sugar. Um, I don't really know what I was looking for, but I, I looked back at them and I said, you are eating, you are emotionally eating, stop. And I proceeded to eat the other three that were on the counter. It was 10 points for four Hostess mini donuts and they're really like that big. Um, counted them. So now for the first time in a very long time, and I think I've only ever done it one or two other times, I am into fit points. I never use my fit points. However, I believe I have 15 fit points left. So luckily my points start over tomorrow. Um, I have a terrible headache this morning. Um, I told you my head feels like it's spinning right now. Not so much. I'm okay right the second. I'm nauseous. 
um, and my muscles just ache, 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 ache. So um, it's not gonna be a fun day. I'm admin today. I still have to, even on top of being admin, I still have to deal with my, um, my student um, who, you know, is, is very um, aggressive and physical. So it's gonna be a day. It is Friday, um, thank goodness. And I am looking forward to the weekend. Um, Norm keeps saying, what do you want to do this weekend? Not realizing that what he's going to do this weekend is lay down, sit around the house, you know, watch a movie, watch some Walking Dead. Um, I don't know, but he, that, that's going to be what he does. He just doesn't know it yet. He said, however, he, and he um, was talking, he feels so good. The last time that he... Um, the reason he hasn't been on camera in so long is because um, he's felt so bad and he he can't move without hurting. Um, his color has been off for months. Like, you know, when someone says your color's off, um, he's been like almost like a palish gray for months. Um, and I can tell you just, just yesterday, his color looked so much better. And, um, he said, I am not clicking. There was like a clicking in his chest that was, you know, cause the, the sternum, when they got in there, they figured out was basically floating. It was attached to nothing. Um, so he said, I'm not clicking. He said, I can breathe. Um, I don't feel like there's a weight on my chest. So, um, I'm afraid that he's going to overdo it because he feels so good and, and whatever, but he's really going to watch it this time. So, um, two weeks he has to wear his heart hugger. So every time he sneezes or coughs, he's got to pull it together so that it doesn't pop open because that's what happened last time. And for 10 weeks, he can't lift anything over 15 pounds. I don't know why I'm not focused here. Um, but anyway, um, so that's it. That's, that's kind of my day in a nutshell, you know, talk about emotional eating. Um, I was emotional yesterday. I was stressed. Um, knowing that I have to go into work today when he's getting out at like 11. I'm still not quite sure how I'm handling that because I am in charge today. Um, I do have Danny, uh, my middle daughter, who has agreed to go get him. But she drives a Jeep Wrangler. So him getting in that is going to be real, real fun. Um, I don't know. I, I would really like to leave and go get him and take him home. The problem is... Um, there's, like I said, there's just no one to cover. There's just no one to cover me. So, um, and sometimes the buck stops with you because you made a commitment. You, I agreed to, to work, the, work this shift as the admin. And, um, you know, I, I just, I've got to do it. So, um, that's pretty much all I've got. Um, I hope you guys are staying on track. Um, I'm, even after my binge of donuts and a couple of fried shrimp and french fries and horrible salad and Salisbury steak and whatever. Um, I did wake up this morning exactly the same, same weight. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll keep on trucking. We'll keep on moving. Um, today's a new day. I had literally zero fruit in my house. So, um, I definitely brought extra food because I was afraid I was going to get hungry and it wasn't, I mean, it's not like zero points. So I bought one of, brought one of these, which is the, um, sausage, turkey sausage and egg white pita pocket. I think it's, I want to say it's a Joseph's, but I don't know. I think that's the name of it. But anyway, um, I brought one of them. I don't know how many points that is. I'm pretty sure it's four or six. Um, my lunch is three, five. So, so yeah, we'll see. And I'm sure when Norm comes home tonight, he's going to want to order food or go out for food. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. Anyway, thank you guys for listening. Um, you guys are awesome. Sorry about the lighting in here. Sorry about the fact that I'm not focused. Sorry about that all my vlogs have been car vlogs lately and you haven't seen pretty much any of my food. Um, things should begin to settle down now um, because of his um, surgery being over. All we've got left now is the wedding, um, which is in less than 30 days. And then we have the um, holidays coming up. So 
wish me luck and I will see you guys in my next vlog. Thanks so much for watching.